And that would be Zion Williamson. Now, when he did make his debut a couple nights ago, it was a night to remember. He scored 22 points in his NBA debut, 17 of them coming in that fourth quarter. But Alvin Gentry made the move to pull Zion in it. Now, Zion addressed the prevailing question about his size and his weight on the Woj pod. Take a listen to this. There's really no comparison to me because I try to add every level to my game. Um, you know, my body, my body's just built different. You know, some people try to look at it as a weakness, but I look at it as a blessing because um, people aren't used to guarding this kind of size. Um, and I'm able to add a little finesse to my game so it has flavor. And I feel like I'm a playmaker so I can create for my teammates. And when I have to finish, I can go finish. Jay Will and Matt Barnes here with us to talk about this. And Jay, we've talked a lot about Zion's weight mm -hmm. and how he can try to avoid further injury. What's your reaction to hearing what he says about trying to lose weight? Well, I mean, obviously he's going to try to lose weight. The question is, where do you lose weight from? And according to the team, he has 8% body fat. Now, I know a lot of people probably want to debate that, and that's fine. But seeing him up and close in person, it's one thing to see him on TV. See him in person, it's different. You can tell that is all chiseled muscle. And it does make him a point center in today's game. Does he need to lose some pounds? Yes. But I don't think we need to talk about him losing 20 pounds or anything like that. I think it's just... a. He's confident in his weight. He's confident, and that's the most important thing. He understands his body. He's had this type of body his whole life. So he's just learning how to maneuver now. He's still 19, young kid. I think he's going to lose a handful of pounds just over the push of the season now that he's back playing day-to-day -day practices, traveling, playing in games. But overall, if he can control his weight, like I said, I, I, I think we're nitpicking things here and there. I want to just give him a chance to let him get out there Listen, and play. he is not <clears throat> Charles Barkley. All right, Charles came on this show and he said when he first got in the league, Moses Malone said to him, you are Stop fat. Eating. And yeah. that changed. Yeah. That, that, that's not what he yeah. is. Right. He's big right. and there's an enormous difference. And he is not going to learn to jump and land differently. And he is not going to have a different body type than the mm -hmm. one that he has. He's going to be Zion Williamson. And either his body is going to be able, at, with all of his athleticism, to withstand what it takes to play in the NBA or it isn't. Right. But I don't think there's anything that's going to change that is going to change that. Does that make sense? It does make sense. And I agree with you. And the, the only question you have for Zion is just his ability to try to finish over people in traffic. And look, we love that from a media perspective because that's what we blow, that's what we gloat about. We show on every single highlight. And you just wonder about that, that kind of friction. But over everything else about his game yeah. is tremendous. Yeah, over and through people. I mean, he's someone that can go over or through you. And like I said, I, I think he's just to a point now where he just wants to get out there and play. There, there's, he needs to do this. He needs to do that. He needs to be confident in himself. He needs to continue his rehab. He can, continues to need to get more minutes out there and just get accustomed to the game. And for all those things you say he needs to do, he had 22 and 7, yeah, 18 right. minutes. Okay? <laughs> so, like, that's where he's at. Well, but the 18 minutes is the key part to this. Yes. So that's the question. I can't believe how significant it felt to me when I saw Alvin Gentry say he went through a full practice on Thursday. Yeah, I mean, after the game, I guess that would yes. be yeah, yesterday, and was feeling fine. So that's a good sign. What do you expect him tonight? Can he start stretching out the minutes? I, I, I think he's going to stay in between that 18 to 25 range probably until after all-star right. break and I think right. even even after that Matt is still a slow yeah. you know elevation up yeah. a little bit yeah. I, I don't think you're gonna I don't think you're gonna see Zion it's play 38 40 yeah. minutes a game his body isn't built for that no. long term yeah well I mean even I, I wouldn't say it's not built for it I just think it's not built for it right now I mean he's in mm -hmm. preseason form I think we're gonna see the best Zion in about seven to ten games and he was already amazing in his first game so give him some time um, I think he's gonna be fine tonight but I agree with Jay I think he's gonna stay in that 18 to 25 minute range but when I I think he's really going to be most effective for the team is once he gets to that 25 minute to 28 minute yeah. range probably somewhere mid to end of march all right we'll keep an eye on that when we get there more hoops as we go coming up here on get up we're just getting started interesting vibe with lebron and former teammate kyrie Irving because lebron can't find the powder he needs the pregame powder right we know the routine he throws it up in the air comes in 45 points shy of kobe bryant for third all time on the scoring list we're not going to catch kobe without the powder I need the powder. Where's the powder? And, and, and no one would, would bring him the powder, so we're just going to handshake it up. Now, Lakers up one, and the Nets decide to go zone, and LeBron was picking that apart. Oh, Dwight Howard. There you go. 14 for Dwight, 10 dimes for LeBron. Also 14 for Danny Green as the three, the party of three. The three was key for the Lakers. They made 19 of them. It's time for the second most in franchise history. Kyle Kuzma got one there. Lakers scored 1.64 points per possession against the net zone. That's time for the most by any team in any game this season. But still, Lakers only up five at the break. So now about a minute left in the third quarter. Nets down four. Kyrie's trying to get something going. Uh, no. No. Anthony Davis says no, demonstrates the no, and then even said no after the fact. And Kyrie's like, are we good? Yeah. Yeah, we're all right. Later. 
Kyrie doubled. Is that all he said? Doubled. We're going to turn it over. Damian's Caldwell Pope finding Jared Dudley. Transition three for Dudley. Now, Lakers, seven transition threes. It's the most in the game this season. They were up 10 going to the fourth, and then it's LeBron backing down Kyrie. Okay. You want stats on Kyrie? How about the Nets are 5 and 11 with him and 13 and 14 without him? LeBron, 27, 12, and 10. 10th triple double of the season. They win 128, 113. And then, forward, you know, you got a president. You got Bill Clinton there. And we're talking. A lot happening in that I, highlight. I want to know what's happening in that conversation. Meanwhile, here's what's happening with LeBron. 17 points shy of tying Kobe now for third most in NBA history. His next chance to get it and pass Kobe is Saturday in Philly, 8.30 Eastern on ABC. So there were a lot of threes in that Nets-Lakers game. And you like threes, do you? Okay, I present the Mavericks and the Blazers. I also present an all-star starter at Luka Doncic. And Damian Lillard, is that supposed to be him? Because I'm freaked out by that. Career high 61 in his last game. And just pick it up right where he left off. Shot clock winding. Now, oh, let me just throw this up from 39 feet. All right. Furthest made field goal to open scoring for a team in any game. Since, like, play-by-play -play tracking began back in 1996-97. Doncic, he threw out the three. There's a lot of a lot of that. Same spot. It's not just a replay. It's just another play. Doncic had 16 points on 7 of 10 shooting. And Lillard had 14 points on 5 of 7 shooting in the first quarter. Doncic finished with, with 27. But Damian Lillard was able to add just a few more in the third. Blazers down big. But Lillard doing what he can to just be toddler style all by myself. And again... The whole way downtown fame was a, a bit of a theme for Lillard. And then the very next possession, it's another one. 21 made threes for the Blazers. I mean, Lillard hit three threes as part of a 17-0 Blazers run. They finished, he finished with eight made threes. So 47 points, and I'm going to do some quick math. It's, it's 108 points for Lillard in the last two games. But one man does not a team make, and Kristaps Porzingis little dunk there. Mavs up 12. And then remember how I said there were a lot of made threes in this game? Well, the Mavs made 22 of them. I mean, even for stop, it's getting into it. He had 16 points. Mavs go on to win 133-125. Back to more quick math and a combined 43 made threes in that game. It's tied for the most in any game in NBA history. There have now been 10 games all time where both teams combined for 40. She does. She's excellent at that as well. LeBron, 21 points last night versus the Knicks. He is now 45 points shy of passing Kobe for third on the all-time scoring list. Lakers face the Nets tonight. Anthony Davis is questionable because it's the second night of a back-to-back. -back. They're trying to be careful with him. Coach, do you think LeBron goes for the record tonight in Brooklyn against Kyrie Irving? I can see him definitely going for it, and I just think it's pretty cool historically to see what he's doing in a Laker uniform mm -hmm. about to pass one of the great basketball players that ever wore that uniform. He's Bryant. doing it in Philly. <laughs> It'll get done in Philly. National and, television. National television. ABC. And ABC. Jump pregame show. He, he is to very, say. very tactical. And on top of it, he... Philly is a great basketball town, and they will show respect, yeah. the type of respect that's needed. He averages 11 assists a game while he's doing this. If you're a Kobe fan, how do you feel about him passing Kobe but in a Laker uniform? You're furious. Kobe <laughs> fans and Laker fans are two different monsters. <laughs> Kyrie Irving, as I mentioned, back tonight, sat out Monday with a tight hamstring. It does mean LeBron is going to go head-to-head -head with his former teammate. Look at their numbers, head-to-head. -head. LeBron has the edge in every category, most importantly, of course, wins. Coach, what do you expect Doesn't of your Former pupil LeBron versus his former teammate Kyrie. Oh, you know, you always get up for, for guys that you played against, played with uh, uh, in the same uniform, and now they, he gets to go in there and, and try to rip his head off. But I think Kyrie is going to come out and really try to play well. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I think Kyrie. We're just trying to do like six people's jobs on the show. Yeah, right I was now. just, you know, I was just, look, <laughs> Kyrie is going to obviously take the challenge, but Kyrie's one of those guys that he believes in a, a much bigger broader thing so he doesn't view this as him versus LeBron he's going to go out there and try and play basketball where LeBron is doing what he's done for 217 years I know how competitive <laughs> both these guys are absolutely and I think that you know some of the head-to-head -head sort of just stuff that was gone between them dissolved last yeah. year remember yeah. um, but I do think they still both want to show out against each other oh, yeah. and play well and different reasons it's a big there game for both teams from a record standpoint tonight. big game a lot of fun all right thank you to coach Fisdale thank you to Richard for joining me today congratulations to all the McDonald's DJ all Amer today's opening tip LeBron goes ISO mode in MSG last night
Richard, do, do you like to see LeBron toy with defenders like this? Honestly, the old me would crack jokes about MSG and the Knicks, but the new me is just mm. going to say that's a very tough shot and great defense.